Uh, hello? Oh, and um, one last thing. Uh oh. You might experience a teensy weensy touch of violent ethereal sickness. Good luck! Why would you have to warn me that? Hello everybody, this is Sky and Lone's coming at you, and this is the episode 3, hey, so far, and the last time we left off, uh, we managed to get to, we managed to get to stay in Shorlian, but the foreign seems to be inclined to ignore the doom that is approaching, which ultimately that doesn't this still doesn't explain that they're, or still does doesn't explain why they didn't get there in Fane or not. But the reason they didn't, because they were something. But I believe there was more to Charlian than there was uh, than anywhere else. So basically, uh, as of now, I'm in a Thalnir. So we took a trip to Thalnir and we got some. Ether sickness. So thankfully we got rested up and here we are now. So as it stands, I hope everything goes well by 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 the time this goes by. So off we go. Make quarries. The pyre is yours. We still learned we can, we could group by ether, right? Probably well, uh, though maybe more sight of it maybe. So what it looks like, we might see more an interesting, uh, somewhat complexity of issues regarding to that. So crate of fruit, uh, has they been left for too long? Who on earth just left the fruit there? Um, uh, serving it. Hmm... This appears to be very little activity. Looks like it. Since we have options. So the things we have options shouldn't be a problem. Only the guys now. Well, we have to go and talk to... Kalzella. I don't know if I went to the verge of that name, but I'll go with Kal. Kal seems to be an interesting name that I've ever seen. The Dagamaskans in our coming? We already have everything in order. What are we supposed to do with it? I don't know, but the only means I'm gonna help. All I know their plans have changed, and that's that. Look, you must have known this might happen. Empire is at war with itself, and the providence are provinces are in chaos. Then the tower sitting on our doorstep, spitting out monstrosities. Cities had the city has defenses, but we can afford no protection out here. We can't blame the foreigners for not wanting to take the risk. <sighs> this 
is an enormous loss. Forget about that Mexicans. Surely some ships are still coming. But the first to do is handcraft venison, all the parties to the Hanish fa Hanish favorites. Our concerns work closely with the merchants aren't and supplies only finest words. Quantity is guaranteed. I don't want these things colors us all. I know I do. Which is why I would have to say I have nothing for you. All of voyages have might have been cancelled or they're definitely indefinitely postponed. Hmm. And you are That's a shame. Uh, excuse me. I'll come back later then. Alright, have to be very, very careful. Alright, we'll see what happens. I mean, the towers could be pose a problem, but uh.
So three people, huh? This is gonna be interesting. See where this is all gonna play out. This is gonna make this makes things interesting. Hello. Do you sell fruit by chance? Uh why do you need so many Amara for? Are you sure you're actually hungry? <laughs> I mean... I know, I know how you feel. Don't sell fruit, but this guy sells fish, so this is left a positive impression. So This is like, this is interesting so far. Sharian and now this. Uh, hello? You don't mind, I'm rather busy. Oh god, it's messed up. Ugh. How do you... how do you intend to prepare? Do I have... do I have anything suitable, Matsutaya? Means. By all means, I'll take them all. Yep. This place is so weird, honestly. I kinda like this place, honestly. An elephant... people. An elephant... elephant... people? I, I'm not sure how to explain it, honestly. 
this is um interesting and somewhat all right let's make this worth it So you were there too. Forgive me. Try as I might, I can't find any buyers. No ships coming in. There's hardly going any out. There's simply aren't any options at this rate. Sorry, but uh, I truly am. But for now, you must peddle your own goods. I want to help you, Maita, but it, as it stands, I can barely help myself. A port of the ultimate consortium, and I'll be damned if I let it fall apart. I have friends and family depend on me, and I can't, I won't fail them. The sisters is my witness. The sisters? The sisters? Good luck. Mm. A lot of people are actually struggling here in this raid. I'm honestly like astonished that like people can be so... I'm honestly astonished that people are actually struggling here because of the tower. That is just right there. And we have learned nothing of use for the, the towers, but we might as well in Charlian, so we might as well learn something of use here. If we don't do something about those towers, it's gonna get worse. See you've been I see you've been busy. Managed to learn a tad bit or two I trust. I see. We also heard that a tower is affecting many locals life life accords. But to think that would be such to an extent, to such an extent. Another notable, if not wholly unexpected, discovery of disappearances and kidnappings are disturbingly commonplace. As before, culprits are almost certainly the tempered imperial soldiers. As before, they made to use the faith of hapless thralls to come for Luna Primal. Business is useful for the Talavari. Judging by his fur furrowed brow, something important has occurred to Nestidian. The Mysterio you were helping, he's actually Kodora, is he not? Apparently, he's almost exclusive as people are being kidnapped. Should he he be traveling alone? If something is pretty true to his aim, self dense the Rizakistoris would be their primary target. Does the faith that the ancestors prevail if this land are many developed I'd hear it still? If you be going after him, I can't add lights at the list. I recall the same direction that Acryl's acquaintances and acquaintance accidentally. Let us settle. Keep your eyes pale while you make for the village. Is this, uh... Ah! Blue quest. 
I'll pick them up. Was there a blue quest in, uh, Charlian? Is there a blue quest in Charlian? That I somehow missed? I probably did. I might want to go back. Probably after this, though. I might want to go back. Probably after this, though. Once we get through this part of the, part of the chapter. Yeah, the tower is just... God, on my... It gets me the chills, honestly. Hmm. You know what they say, Dungeon's Point only makes a good sighting. Not like this in the answer Hmm. Well. If I have the time, I would... What is this music? This is unfamiliar. Oh! Oh shit! It's the Tempered! Matsa! You're safe. You're safe, my friend. You're safe. Kidnappers. We heard our Gasaras were being targeted. Surely you have, you have as well. It's better see you took a refuge in the city. Hmm. It's just a decision to make. You should take care not to travel alone. Question, if I may. Since our understanding, the strange fiends emerged from the tower. What can Thalas tell us of these beings? Not much, I'm afraid. I have no idea what they are. I heard some bare and sentimental resemblance to our divinities. <sighs> For that reason, someone had taken a call of the tower. Calling the tower Zalt. How's divinity in the old tongue it means? The not the true divinities. They're monstrous imitations that only bring death. To one to have one's face so twisted so grievous in dignity, full justify all thou 
and fine outrage. It was no, that no, for no other purpose but to neutralize the tower is we have that we have journeyed to this land, and in time we may force contend of these false, false gods. Thus, we will learn that what, all, all what may, we may about them. Will not tell us about thy divinities and their true nature. <laughs> what say that? Should we brave as I uh, can all? We should. Can't miss it. So, just as some crew of the Thirteen Gods are being summoned, if any doubted out existed before, they can be known now. The Kegnet Haish are imprisoned in the tower. Pray that we may, we will able to save them. Indeed, though saving them mean confronting the false god, like no, like as not, I, as you said, we do well to study their re religious traditions to Aki. Aki ah. I'm still trying to understand. Hmm. What a. I wonder. What's their. What's their god's name? I wonder. What's the god's name? Because I have to know. I wonder what their name is. I mean, it's not, not as if I have played any Final Fantasy game before. I played FF10, but not like... I played FF7, FF10, and 13, and... Well, it's not like I have anything else to do in 15, but it's not like I have seen anything else craziness. I mean... White Beach. Alright. Let's get the information that we need. How about the blind? Munsa, the wisdom being who assumed the form of man. Margaret is, is a being of might who assumed the form of the beast. Forest personality, married and varied. Stern, gentle, stern, temperamental. Hmm. Interesting. Huh. Locked in conflict. Took up their foes. Hmm. Alright. That's interesting. Okay. Scroll depicts three of the most revered deities. By all means, we should like to see it. Alright. We have to see what it's all about. 
Aramisuna, as you heard about them, yes? Three sisters. <gasps> Shit! The certain one is the eldest. Carnifa, the goddess of wisdom. For this, her alchemist is hold the alchemist hold her in the highest. To her right, there's the metal sister. Sandrea as a goddess of wealth. She counts many traitors among our followers. On the left, Medusa, the young assembly, presides over the craft, and so is beloved by weavers. Although each worshipped at different reasons, sisters are usually portrayed together in these works, which people tend to keep in their homes for good fortune. The Magus Sisters. Look at a fashion, Masuna. Deities are yours here, pry out of a myriad aspects of life. And what of Murga, may I ask? The Murga holds the power over the nature in ages past. They were revered as guardians, guardian deities in times of conflict. If you occasionally visit temples of ruins, you will find their images there. Among them is a god who possesses a Gaia's hand, head, is a penetrated of the Paragenator of a Arxasrora Dor. Then there are dragons. They occupy a special place in our history. You worship dragons too? <laughs> they said that the ancient said that ancestors are set rap. That's the rule that Rasadan forged the kind of the dragon divinity in the ancient times. This divinity has been acted as the guardian of the deity of the set rap. Uh, legend holds that if the set rap is in need, his dragon ally will fly to his aid. Dragon ally. You claim to be a terrible story, are you teller, but nothing could be further from the truth. The past you buried in ever for your faith is plain to hear. I'm confident that the information you given us will serve as well in our efforts to deal with the tower. And I pray for your success. Right. I believe this time we sought out Kral's acquaintances. The Elka's name is my Nidaria. According to Cryo's notes, we'll find another place called the Great Work, further north along the coast. Oh boy. So we have the Magus sister. Okay. Okay, if you say so. So, apparently, the primals in this place is... is the Magus Sisters. Oh, the Magus Sisters. Oh. Oh boy, this is going to be a very tearful one, if we're ever going to fight them, at that point. So, what I assumed that the MAGA sisters, we will fight them later, presumably, if that is to be the case. And oh, oh my, what the hell happened here? Well, oh my, oh my. Oh my god, what the hell happened here? What? Everyone is dead. Fuck! <laughs> yep, all of them. 
all of them are dead. In the moment of seconds. That one's alive. What happened here? <laughs> Their dress marks them as alchemists. I see no evidence of injury or poison. Thinkest thou they but slumber? <laughs> so who had the right idea just to put everyone else to sleep, thinking look like they're dead? I believe so. Whether it is by choice, that's another question entirely. Oh, we have guests. You must excuse the full welcome. Long days and longer nights have taken their toll, as you can see. <laughs> I am Vashan, servant to the Satra. My task was, in fact, to wake these good men and women, if you will allow. He noticed uh, the of sphere. The I come bearing new scales. Scales? Scales? Scales of what? New scales? Oh! <laughs> they. Yes, my friends. Gather round. I have them right here. Are they? Are they the dragon scales? Oh, happy now I can continue my experiment. Are they the dragon scales? Many thanks. One for me. Those are dragon scales. <laughs> I was. Yeah, I, I... Yep. Those are literally, literally dragon scales. Yes, such materials are vital to their most pressing research. But why? What are they for? And we are fortunate to have them. Our experiments are so close to bearing fruit. Okay. Soon we will have a talisman capable of nullifying the etheric emissions from that accursed tower. So you say the scales have the... Did, did I say something wrong? Are you not here with Varshan? Wait, who are you people? I... Uh... Of course! You're the one Cryo said. The warrior of light we've been waiting for. This is a day of celebration. Praise be to Cinderova. Cinder of what? The winds have shifted. I feel it. The end to our toil is near. I feel it too. My head hasn't been this clear in days. I... I'm so... Tell me, how did you acquire those scales? Curious that it concerns you so. But worry not. They were freely given by the dragon with whom our satrap has forged a lawful pact. So... Uh, so... Interesting. That is well. <laughs> you must be quite familiar with Dragon King, yes? Is this their congealed blood I see on your weapon? <laughs> uh... Hmm. Speaking of dragon blood, you yourself have been infused with it, have you not? Uh, well... Oh no. <laughs> I should like to draw a file or two, if so. <laughs> 
see here? <laughs> oh. Come along, come along. I must insist that you visit our laboratory. Uh. <laughs> Cease your shoving, or so help me. <laughs> <laughs> For us to be in. Your companion. What with the new scales and your timely arrival, my colleagues are a little giddy with excitement. No harm will come to him, I promise. Meanwhile, shall we find a quiet place to talk? I, I, I can, I can As skip. As you may have guessed, I am Nidana, the alchemist who sent a request to your mistress. Oh, Hall. okay. We have workshops across the nation collaborating on this research project. But it is here, at the Great Work, where I collate our results. Come with me, all of you, and I can explain the crux of the situation. Are we not gonna leave a city in there? It seems he's in a bit of a pickle. It seems he's in a, a bit of a pickle. Mmm... Forestinian. Him and his fucking lands. He always had to carry his lands wherever he goes. But these guys are somewhat. fan. fan of it, I guess. I just don't know if. I. Mm, I'm not sure how to explain it. Don't. <laughs> uh, I remember that um, that Estadian was soaked in like dragon blood, like the hog in Hippo's Ward, and then his spear is not the only thing he has. And then he got new armor, but that dragon blood, so that kind of sort of explains it. So he uses uh, the lands for. The hog. It makes sense, in a way. You seek to make a talisman that can nullify erythetic emissions. To me, it's a fast concentration either. What can I go anywhere without being tempered? Steady tower from a bar. And are powerless to deal with it in a coincidental way. In order to strike back, Sid Rabbaitus as the alchemist create an enhanced talisman. The talisman allows our soldiers to enter the tower should they lack any energy protection. Could such a thing be possible? Immediately, we're still in the midst of things are testing, but we're quite confident. And even prior to this, our people have long pursued cancer missions against etheric corruption of primals. A method attested to date, using lines in dragon scales proved most promising. Owing to their etheric densities, the scale highly resident to disruptive force, the mightier the dragon, the greater resistance. We seek to find the pr this protective property through our alchemy. And thanks to the scale of Brother's Excellency, we should we have been able to make steady progress with the talisman. We soon will be able to conduct a field test. This is where your blessing of light come in. What exactly is it you have that you need me to do? <laughs> Nothing complicated to show you. You only ask. We ask only you serve as an escort. I'll explain in greater detail later. You eventually in tower, our tower's field of influence. And so, for your own safety, I would trust first test how well your blessing shields with you, with your permission, of course. In that case, Rachel and I will find a way, find other ways to make ourselves useful. Seeing you all to work at the point of collapse, to the point of collapse, I suspect you could do with more hands. I can't imagine anyone just collapse like that and sleeping for 
Let's put us your blessing to the proof. Turn to the south, the hill to be the right. At the top after seeing some preparations. Okay. Um, is it to the east? Mm. I'm having some chills. Hmm, something about this music is kind of giving me the chills. Drunken Deepa. Oh, that's new. I suffered no ill effects. Hmm. So I guess we need to test the limits of the blessing of the light then. Seeing as to we're easily propelled. But no, so suffer no ill effects either. That's so strange. I'm assuming this is gonna happen at least four times. Did Nanda say four times? I'm assuming that, that is the case. I'm gonna take a while, I guess that might be the case. So this is. This is 12th time in a row. We should be fine. Okay. Oh. Final discharge. It seems the blessing of light has. It seems the blessing light was able to repel such powerful spells. Okay, I guess that proves it. I guess.
interesting. Special ink. Spirit weed. I hmm. I hmm. I mean, I'll worry about a stadium when uh, when we're done with this, because I gotta feel bad for the poor guy. <laughs> It's, it's not like, it's, it's not like I have anything else to do that keep ourselves busy. Through these pillars? Hmm. But I can't use it anymore. I don't get it. But I can't use it anymore. I don't get it. Is it expecting me to go to. Is it expecting me to do. Do a different thing that I have never done before. Just searching, like the ether, the current, the ether current. So like willy nilly, so willingly. It's not like I have better else to do than this. Great dancer. Hmm, you did manage to repel those Imperials, those who are tempered. I'd like to think most of them would survive, of sorts. Kaji's footstep. Okay. Let's take a look. Left and right, left and right, left and right. Yes, that would be Radzad Han. Hardly anyone has been allowed in or out since our troubles with the tower began. The faithful citizens huddle inside the city walls, and commerce has all but ground to a standstill. I pity the satrap, the trials he must be facing. What can you tell me of this? Stat wrap. Stat trap? Well, he... He is the most important person in Radzat Han. Hmm. Long ago, this island was home to two tribes of Matanga. The Gajasura and the Arkasodra. When the Aura came to these shores, it was the Arkasodra with whom they joined forces. Together they defeated the war like Gajasura, Forcing them to flee Thavnair altogether. Peace and prosperity reigned for a time, until a clan of Hjor from the mainland decided they wanted the island for themselves. 
It was a direct ancestor of the present satrap who arbitrated that conflict and welded the warring factions into the nation we know today. And ever since, a member of that esteemed lineage has inherited this somewhat unique position. You see, by and large, the state is run by the people. But when problems arise, it is the satrap who mediates a solution. The stability provided by the satrap is what has allowed Radzad Han to thrive all these years. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. So it's, so it's ruled by the people, but the satrap is what mediates the, solu the solution. That's... That's interesting to think about, honestly. And it was the Satrap himself who entrusted us with this duty. We will not fail him, nor our countrymen. Hmm. Interesting. I feel like this has already been more interesting than I thought. What is the delay with the vessel? I told you I need to adjust those ratios. I come all this way to admire one of my splendid towers. And what do I find? Fools attempting to ward off its tempering influence with magic trinkets. Fan Daniel. I seem to recall a similar experiment in ages past. What was that man's name? Who are you talking about? Oh, something. Oe? Oe? <sighs> Another, another body, body another, another time. time. Who could be expected to remember every trivial detail? What the hell? Hmm. Allowing them to construct such handy talismans would be counterproductive to my plans. I mean, it's your fault for setting up the towers in the first place. Didn't think it. I mean, it's your fault for setting up the towers. So, uh, are you the one who, did you think you were not expecting that? And yet, I find myself deathly curious. How will they manage this feat with the limited knowledge and resources at their disposal? <laughs> Complications be damned. For we cannot escape the nature of our souls. And I, as ever, am my own worst enemy. It would seem... I... okay, now I have a bad feeling. Should be easy to get back, no? <laughs> Not! Everything should be still intact. I thought I got to wonder. I hope the uh, Fendaniel wasn't watching or anything. Or something silly. Alright. The boy is Aaron.
Hmm. Alright. This is... So, I guess... In the... So while this is going on, Daniel is just like... Like, overlooking people and, and letting them do their research and doing this and doing this, doing this, doing that, doing this, and all that shenanigans. All the shenanigans. Uh, it would seem that Fendunia has some slight of complaints from most of them. Alright, I'll take... I will deal... I will deal with the blue quest when I am done. I'll deal with the blue quest when I... When I get when I get the chance to. Oh. And yours is Ian Dodos. Oh, interesting. Warned, they have a wobbly gat. Have they? No. Okay, guess I'll uh, be cautious then. Kanka, the word mean what? Cast it down in the conflict's end. It's a sword? That's a one giant sword. A small isle. I mean, fair. I mean, fair at this point. That post itself is on the beach. Against the tower. Is that so? Is there a way to counteract the tower? I know townsmen are one thing, but uh.
Oh, interesting. By the look of her. From my ores, you say? Tires have appeared over there too, yes? It's tell me. What is the situation like? Learn something of value, I believe. Okay, well, we might as well, uh, do... I guess we might as well say something about the towers. TPH. Milt Radiant Hood Mills Tilly Order under the Sept Reps Command. Her duty to preserve peace of land, the Victorian streets are dealing with the foretold unknown threats such as now. Struggle to contend the fiends from the tower. And you have to pay the heavy price. So it's much the same everywhere. With every nation's struggles, we cannot expect calls of an outside aid to be answered. I mean, that's pretty much everything where it stands now. We can't do anything about the towers, honestly. We know little and less about ourselves. Did... Island of Navier... Our struggles are not unique. Then our hopes and lies are, then our hopes lies with the, with the talisman. We must keep the monster to contain until they're ready. Right. Yeah, it's pretty much everything else the same, more or less. Oh, it's so, it's so friggin' small. <laughs> what the hell? This feels so weird writing this. It feels so extremely weird. At a time like this. It's so bizarre, honestly. Well, here we are. Well, there goes that.
Oh, speaking of, let me do this thing first. I'll take it. So... Off we go! kind of haunted here. I see our taskmasters have allowed you a moment's respite as well. Jesus, criminally. Hi, Thancred. You have to hand it to these alchemists. They are determined to see this endeavor of theirs succeed. I've never been one for blind optimism, but I sincerely get the sense they're close to a breakthrough. For sure. They had better be. Or all this effort was for naught. The peoples of Eorzea, of the Far East, of Thavner, children of this star united in common cause against a dire threat. Except... Charlian, of course. Yet ere they succumbed to suicidal madness, were not the Telophoroi born of her body as were we? They who cling to life and the promise of the morrow's dawn against they who desire death and an ending of their own orchestration. The victors of this war alone will hold the right to answer the question of existence, of its meaning, and its worth. When you say something like that, when you say something like that, it kind of brings some sort of a meaningful way. Poetic and ominous to a fault. That said, if it's an existential debate in nature, then our arguments might not be as persuasive as you'd think. Van Daniel wants to die and take everyone with him in an orgy of pain and suffering. An utterly vile and unforgivable idea. Oh. So Vandania wants to die and take everyone else with him. Interesting. Weren't were the Asians were didn't they want to 
live? So wait a second. Or did they didn't want didn't did the Ancients want their home back or something? I know they said something about sending about the Great Rejoining, but it kind of feels like it's. It feels like it's. I don't know. It feels so hurtful. And yet, when spat upon by fate and wailing in the deepest pit of despair, who among us can say they have not entertained similar thoughts? There are nights black as pitch, bereft of hope, and no words of comfort can reach you. And it's all you can do to grit your teeth and choke back the bile. Honestly, it's... Honestly, part of me thinks, like, it's kind of concerning. The more you see and suffer life's injustices, the more difficult they become to bear. <sighs> Vengeance is nurtured in similar soil. Though your anger has a broader focus, the sentiment is much the same. A fervent desire to destroy others, to see them drown in torment, as you have. Interesting. That about sums it up. The will to endure is not always as strong as the urge to burn it all down and salt the earth. Survival be damned. It's a struggle. Often close and brutal. Yeah. Indeed. Well, I, for one, shall pray survival proveth more appealing in the end. As will I. Besides, our chances are much improved when we've the company of others committed to the cause of life. Our vengeful dragoon here is proof of that. <laughs> Uh -huh. Daniel. What is it? What did you see? Fan Daniel, are you sure? If he knows we've been working on a countermeasure, it holds. The vessel holds! This is the one! At long last! This can only mean one thing. Look! We have finally created a talisman strong enough to withstand our experiments! We've named it a warding scale for the time being. With this in your possession, your soul should be completely shielded from corruptive ether. Afforded such protection, any one of us may approach the towers without fear. Thou hast mine admiration. Tis an invention of historical significance. I thank you for your kind words. But I would prefer you keep them unsaid until we test the talisman's efficacy in the field. <laughs> it is for the next stage of our plan that we summoned you in the first place, to accompany me to the Tower of Zot. Should the scale prove effective, as I very much hope it will, then you'll have little to do. But should the effect be weaker than anticipated, I must ask that you restrain me, or knock me senseless. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Either way, we are fortunate to have you with us. Nidana, I, I... Are you certain you wish to do this? The look in their eyes. If others are to trust our creations, then we must have faith in them first. And, as the senior researcher, it falls to me to lead by example. But, should I fail to return, then learn what you can from this attempt and apply it to the next. Our work must continue. Is that clear?
Hmm. We'll keep an eye on the place while you're away. Assuming Fan Daniel is lurking about, there's no telling what mischief he has in mind for us or you. Be on your guard. Yeah. He's definitely, he's definitely Shall watching. We be on our way? I'll have one of the soldiers at the hatchery prepare us a boat, and we can set out from the northern shore. I'll see you there. I knew if Daniel was watching, but damn, he knows we're up to something. Here's the thing I don't get. If he was watching and lurking about, why hasn't he... What was he doing? And I understand he was watching or anything, but... I understand he was like lurking about and watching, but... What is... Why is he... Why is he not doing anything? Why has he not doing anything is the question. Like... I understand he's watching or something, but... What is he doing? It's not like he has anything to do to stop us. He knows his plan is gonna go, go, go down the drain sooner or later, but... Honestly, it's, this is kind of... This feels a little weird when he was actually watching us. <laughs> I would prefer not being watched and not being spied on. I'd rather just do the thing. But apparently, this is not the case. Let's get this working. We should soon cross the threshold of the tower's influence. Any moment now. It's working! And you... you are still yourself? Then I'd like to see how it fares closer to the tower if we could. Ugh. There's that eye. I don't like it. So far, so good. The scale's protection appears to be holding. If we can just make it to the tower's entrance. Hmm. But how long will it last? A few more steps. Praise be to the sisters, we made it! And the scale has proven itself to be everything we hoped it would be. Good. Now we can focus on production. Once we've equipped and returned with an entire survey team, this menace will soon give up its secrets. Gods, I hope. What? What the? It was open? I didn't see it open. 
No! Where in the... What the hell are we? Where are we? Oh no. Don't tell me she... For Daniel! You'll only hurt yourself thrashing about like that. Then Daniel! Stop! Oh, you can't do this! Please! God damn it. A little late for heroics, I'm afraid. Hmm. The similarities are striking. My, my! Such hostility! Never before has my artistry so displeased. My patrons of old would have positively squealed in delight. Though, between you and me, I find gushing praise exhausting. What? Patrons of old? Allow me to tell you a story. Surely you've yet to hear the one about Van Daniel, the sundered Asian. Oh! I inherited the position and the soul of the Van Daniel who sat on the convocation in the time of the final days, theoretically speaking. Oh, he was a part of convocation in 14. Practically speaking, that fact is of no consequence. I was born and lived as, well, me. Eventually, I was recruited into the Asians and imbued with the former Fan Daniel's knowledge and memories, but I never felt that they were truly a part of who I am. You never did? But why? How to explain? But perhaps if I told you who I was before my Asian embrace, although that chapter too is a past I've long since discarded. Oh, interesting. I have it on good authority. You've poked your nose into an elegant ruin or two. Yes? Uh, I guess? Then I expect you've heard of me. The old. The old you? Ah! Um, at your service. No way! What? What? Imagine a nation of unbridled prosperity. Every need met. Day after day of unbroken, unshakable peace. Existence fulfilled and ripe for decay. You are a genius without peer, Amon. However, do you conceive of such delightful experiments? That fool was beside himself with panic when he awoke with the head of a bull. 
Even his cries for help emerged as so much guttural lowing. Oh, oh, the memory of it. <laughs> My poor sides. My friends and I were so consumed by laughter we struggled to breathe. I... No more than entertainment for bored wastrels ignorant of its worth. My all-consuming work. But it was not their only indulgence. For they were ever hungry for stimulation. Slaves to the slightest hint, and amusement was afoot. Our nation was ailing, but I would see the poison purged. I resurrected a legend, our first and greatest emperor. And just as I had planned, he set our wayward empire back on the path of conquest. An inexhaustible ambition carried us onwards, always onwards. Yet, he who delivered oh, to us such shit. glory was not to be satisfied. Heed me, Armon. No matter how vast one's empire, or full one's treasure vault, all is rendered meaningless by death. In the end, all is lost. You know as well as I that the Emperor stands to lose this war, and so I have come to claim you. Emmett! For while your methods leave something to be desired, we cannot deny the results of your work. And as fortune would have it, the seat of Van Daniel, your rightful seat, lies vacant and waiting. Take your place amongst your peers, rather than die a pointless death amidst the ashes of your doomed nation. Send one of your clones to the Crystal Tower that you might see for yourself. See what lies ahead. Emmet. The fall of the Empire affirmed the truth. Majestic and tragic as the Emperor foresaw. Scheme as you like, build as you will, nothing endures. What is life but a brief jaunt ending in emptiness? Daniel go. Oh God. Shit. So, so easily, easily distracted. Why? I, I almost, almost left, left without, without saying, saying farewell. farewell. <sighs> As for As your, your friend, friend, you need not worry. worry. These horns are far more useful to me alive as fuel for the primes. Uh, uh, uh. If you attempt to pull them free, they will die. So, enjoy tackling that conundrum with your comrades. We shall meet again! Not in one of these mind, mind spires, spires. Oh, oh, no, no, no. But, but somewhere, somewhere more, more suitably grandiose. grandiose. Your, Your favorite, favorite playmate, playmate is, is ever so ever eager to see. Is that so?
Minus spires? Does he mean the Grand Dome? He said Grand Dose. Does he mean there's a literal, like, giant spire amongst all of them? If there is, where the hell is it? This is... suck. This sucks. Honestly. But holy crap, this is the one of the moments, this is one of the times I will ever curse in this one. Like, god damn. So if it was Fandani after all. Damn that bastard. I'm sure you want to do more, but you're right to return here first. We must try real at least we engage Ananda and the other captives. <sighs> yeah, it's... It's rough, honestly. Setrap has been aware of this tragedy. Give you this link pearl. Building warding scales. I bear invitation. Wishes to meet you. Cool. Oh, okay. Avenues of collaboration. Yeah. We might as well. This is honestly. This is honestly awesome. This is. Oh my god, I didn't think they would bring back the. the Crystal Tower reference. I didn't think they would bring back the. uh. the tale of the. um. The Crystal Tower. I didn't think they will bring... I didn't think they were able to break... <clears throat> that into play. Honestly, the... The cutscene of Daniel and him as a mon is... Astoundingly interesting. Even though he's a, even though 
he is a sundered Asian. Even though he was sundered before he became an Asian. So. It makes sense as to. Oh my gosh. I guess it makes sense as to. Um. They... Incredible. So this is how Dalgan Empire came to be. With the Crystal Tower and the Machinations. Fendanya was Amon. Amon was Fendanya. All the fucking long. Holy shit. I did not think this would happen. I honestly didn't think it it would. It's just astounds me. Holy crap. <sighs>